Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Job Squad Wrestling's Battleground 2016 tournament. Guys, we are in the final round. We're talking Game of Thrones versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Guys, it has all boiled down to this. We've had every match on this show, and now we're here in the finals. And guys, this just isn't a three-on-three -three match. This is a three-on-three -three elimination match. Hold on, Hurricane Rana right off the top of the match. Donatello on to Jon Snow. These guys are kicking things off. And if you look, if you notice, Khal Drogo is bandaged up after a, a over one hour long semifinal match where Team Game of Thrones took on Team Walking Dead. The match went, I think it was like an hour and 15 minutes. I am not kidding you. I can't believe I sat here and did this for that long. Uh, I chopped it up threw it in you guys i hope you enjoyed it because we are set for another huge match right here right now so but i just summed up team game of thrones they came in in the first round they beat team south park then they had that hour-long war against walking dead and now they find themselves here Jon snow was busted open in their last match the hound was busted open and Khal Drogo went through so much damage. He's been bandaged up in this match. They are falling apart, but yet they are still here fighting. All for this, uh, I guess, shot at any title they want. And their opponents right there, the Ninja Turtles, who they've had a tough road too, but they made easy work of the Power Rangers. But then they came very close to losing against, against Team Mortal Kombat, where Johnny Cage did a big put a big world of hurt on them but they seem to come oh and then a big hurricane run on the outside sorry i know i'm trying to just sum up how these teams got here in this match but both teams went down a long road to get here and now they find themselves exhausted battling it out right here in the main event with everything on the line three possible title shots on the line here in this one match the history the future Everything could be right here on the line at the main event of Battleground. And we're up to a seven count. Seven. There is a count out here. If they don't get in the ring, they will be counted out and eliminated. But they're both back in. The match will continue. So, snap suplex there from Jon Snow onto Donatello. Now, this first pinfall is going to be huge because the, the team that eliminates the other opponent will get the big three on two advantage and that's going to really help them out in this match. So that first pinfall is going to be really important. But the Hound now into the ring bringing down Donatello with a back suplex there. Oh, went for a clubbing blow but Donatello saw it coming but then no, gets taken down with a snap there anyway. We've seen a lot of highlights out of both of these teams on their road to get here. And right now, we see the Hound slowing things down, taking out Donatello, slow and methodic. We know he's a bruiser. We know he can brawl with the best of them. We've seen it done time and time. Oh, knee to the stomach, kick to the stomach, and then a kick to the chest again. There's that brutality that we're talking about. Oh, Donatello just punched to like the throat, chest area. Whatever it takes to get back up to his feet. So he's going to try to tag out. There it is. Tag has been made. In comes the leader, Leonardo. As Donatello jumps to the outside. Hound just shoves him off. Now grabs Leonardo. Scoops him up. Just tosses him over with a body slam. Just launches him into his own corner there. Now he's going to pull him up. And then just do some work on that back. The lower back there of Leonardo. Yeah, he's wearing a shell, but that doesn't matter. It still hurts, folks. Oh, what a punch to the gut this time. And then just a clubbing blow. Takes off Leonardo's head. And then a kick to the face. The Hound really looking good, looking strong here. We haven't seen a whole lot of dominating action from him in the tournament. Just a lot of solid work. Solid brawling. But right now, Jawbreaker. Right now, he's taking it to the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But speaking of jawbreakers, another one, the Hound is down. 
Slowly trying to get up to his feet. Catches a hit to the back in the process. Oh, but just spins right around. And then a nice shoulder block. Leonardo down. One. Two count already on Leonardo. Very, very interesting. Now, the Hound working on the shoulder. Just squeezing that pressure point there onto Leonardo. He is a turtle. Not sure if that same pressure point applies, but it looks like it does. Uh, tag to me. In comes the hurt, Cal Drogo. He's all taped up. He's got bruises all over him. And now he's instantly being brought into a barrage, barrage of punches. And now going to the top rope, maybe. Leonardo springing off. Catches him with the Hurricane Rana. Springs him across and flings him across the ring. And then just standing moonsault there. Perfectly executed from Leonardo. Caldrogo is not doing good. Oh, well, just when I said that, Leonardo went for another uh, Frankensteiner, but Caldrogo just caught him and slammed him down with a powerbomb. Two, Leonardo kicks out. Wow, that was... Now, he grabs him. Hold on, he's got him up. Folks, he's going for his finisher here. He calls it, fuck the king. Fuck the king, and Leonardo is out. Guys, that's gonna, that could be it. One, two, Donatello breaks it up, saving the match. We could have had an early, early finish here. Both teams are beaten and bruised, so I would not be surprised if we did see some e uh, quick eliminations. Oh, the Hound caught up on the rope there. In comes Michelangelo. Thrown into the opposite ring uh, ropes. Power slam, nice. Nice return there with the power slam. Who will be the first member eliminated in this match? Elbow to the chest there. Why is Jon Snow not on the ring anymore? For some reason the match is in slow motion. There he is, now he's back on the ring. Anymore. Lifts him up, oh, just launches him into the air. Comes face first, crushing down onto the mat. And now, what a, what a hit right to the ear, right to the temple area of Michelangelo. That'll slow you down. Stomping on the chest here. Another one. We're going to see a third. No. Uh, all right. Lifts him up instead. The Hound has put a lot of time into this match. Oh, and then face first into the rope there. Went for the drop toe hold. The Hound goes face first into that middle rope. And then what a punch from Michelangelo. Normally he's joking around, making wisecracks. Playing with his nunchucks, but no. All business here. He knows what's on the line. Going for the sharpshooter. Wait, no. He's got him in a submission move. The Hound could tap out. No. Michelangelo lets go of it. Looks like he's a little antsy trying to pick him up, but brings him down the neck breaker now. We haven't seen a lot of work out of Jon Snow. He started the match off, but we haven't really seen him since. We know he's been the powerhouse for them, the ace in the hole. The, oh, wait a minute, another neck breaker. Now working on the neck there of the hound, Michelangelo. Is he going up top? Nope, just gonna do a moonwalk in the corner. Wait a minute, speaking of, the t speaking of Jon Snow, here he comes, fired up, big uppercut, spins around, forearm shot. Leonardo goes flying out of the ring, or off the ring apron, I should say. Scoops up Michelangelo, sit out. Nice little falcon arrow there. Jon Snow now all fired up in this match. See what kind of damage he can do to the Ninja Turtles. The triple headed dragon screw takedown. Could torque, uh, torque the knee there. Two, I'm not sure if I said twerked. I was trying to say torqued. Torqued the knee, twerked. I don't know. You know what? Maybe he, t maybe he did twerk the knee. I don't know. Anyway, lifts up Michelangelo. Oh, too slow. Russian leg sweep on to Jon Snow. Team Game of Thrones. They're trying to get the crowd behind it, but nobody in this arena wants to see Game of Thrones get the win. Oh, my God. The defender of the wall. 
Mike, uh, Donatello went for a grapple there. Jon Snow ducked up underneath it and then connected with Defender of the Wall. And now the head scissor elbows. One, two, three. That's a lot of, a lot of aggression into that third hit there. But as I was saying, nobody wants to see Game of Thrones come in here and get the win. The Ninja Turtles are by far the fans' favorite. They're always they're doing the high risk maneuvers. Everybody loves to see it. Ooh. Wait a minute. It's got the double underhook. No! Oh my god, bastard of Winter fell on to Donatello. He's out. The Ninja Turtles gotta break this up. One, two, they're not coming to the ring. Donnie kicks out on his own, gets his shoulder up. Drogo is fired up. Jon Snow's got him up into the corner here. He's going for a maybe tornado DDT perhaps. Spins around, wait to the outside, and then brings his face right into them ropes. What a unique, unorthodox maneuver there from Jon Snow, pulling out all the stops here. We've broken the 30 minute threshold in this match. We could be in for another hour long battle. I, I am afraid to say it, who knows? All I know is, this is an elimination six-man tag match, and nobody has been eliminated yet. All six members still included in a defender of the wall. Going for a pin. He's kind of close to the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Leonardo breaks it up and then hits him twice. Doesn't want to see his brother eliminated here in this match. Michelangelo lifts up. Jon Snow brings him down with a pile driver. As everybody walks in slow motion back to their... Wait, Leonardo. I think he's after Cal Drogo. He may have been talking some trash. The tags are made. In comes Donatello, though. Did Leonardo... Where the hell is Leonardo going? Wait, it rolls through. The one-arm powerbomb coming up onto Jon Snow. Donatello showing that strength. He does have the brains and he has the brawn. Now he's going for a cover here. On a Jon Snow. Two. That was close. That is as close as close gets, folks. Oh, knee to the back of the head. Right in the, mm, right in the back of the neck area, too. Oh, whips his arm down. Again, Donatello always working on the arms. If you've been watching the entire tournament, which we've had a lot of good matches, if you really haven't, you need to go back and watch some. Oh, Donatello has always worked on the arms and continues to be working on the arms. Oh, got him there. But he's exhausted, hard to get up. They've been battling. This is each team's third match on the show. They're tired, they're worn out. Their stamina's all the way down. But then a Russian leg sweep. Desperation move almost there out of Jon Snow. Yep, looks like he's gonna come and tag out. Drogo wants the tag, no. Tags with Nate, it comes the Hound. And then the Hound does nothing at all and tags out to Cal Drogo. Not sure what's going on here. Drogo's taking him up to the top. Punch to the back of the shell there. He's got him. Hold on. Release German suplex from the middle rope. Donatello flew off from the top. One, the Hound's in. Two, takes out Michelangelo. Three. Donatello has been eliminated. We have our first elimination from the match. All right, we're down to just Leonardo and Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. All three members of Game of Thrones are still alive in this match. And then belly to belly overhead, overhead suplex into the ring. Michelangelo on the outside, hoping to get in soon. Leonardo not looking good right now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Dothraki drop. Guys. That's not good, hold on, Michelangelo's got it. He's going slow. Three, oh my God. Oh dear God, we are down to the final member of 
the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo, now power slammed on the outside of the ring. We've seen the Game of Thrones guys use these tactics before, where they just kind of, I hate to say it, but just gang rank their game. Hold on, let me try that again. Gang rape their opponents on the outside. And look at this. Brings them down. Double team maneuver there onto Michelangelo on the outside. It's all in slow motion glory for you. And then, oh, wait, no. Michelangelo being decimated on the outside of the ring here. And now thrown into the ring apron. He's on the outside. Six count, I think I heard. From the ref. Hold on. Mikey thrown into the ring. Only a three. No, I was definitely wrong on that count there. Mikey trying to pull himself up with the ropes. Headbutt from Cal Drogo. His shoulders and ribs maybe tape, but Inziguri there. Inziguri on to Cal Drogo. Michelangelo is going to have to keep everything going here. All the momentum to come back. The crowd is chanting for him. The crowd wants to see Michelangelo and the Ninja Turtles win this match. Nobody wants these cheating, no good. Hold on, DDT. These cheating, no good Game of Thrones guys coming in here and walking away with the win. Michelangelo is going up for Kawabunga. He's going to the top for Kawabunga. This is how he has to do it. Wait, Drogo's up. He's caught him in midair. He's, Michelangelo's on his shoulders. Spins him around. He's down. Oh my God. The crowd. Two. Three. The crowd chanting, this is awesome. In the end, did Game of Thrones win, win the fans over with that finish? Cal Drogo eliminated all three members of the Ninja Turtles. They tried to put up a fight, but guys, Team Game of Thrones was just too much for him. Right there is where Drogo got reversed that Hurricane Run into a power bomb. What a match. This is one of the Dothraki drops early on in the match. Brings him down. He went for a pin but was not successful. Guys, Game of Thrones, what is going to happen next? That means the Hound, Cal Drogo, and I I guess John Snow. Here's the finish, though. Hold on. We'll get to that in a second. Lifts him up onto his shoulders. Bad shoulders, ribs and all. Doesn't matter. Drogo felt the adrenaline pumping through those veins. Spun him over with the count. One, two, three. Guys, what in the hell does this mean for Job Squad Wrestling? Those three guys right there get a shot at any title they want now on the channel. Job Squad Wrestling will never be the same. Season 2 is off to a rocking start here. We got plenty more to come. Stay tuned, guys. What's going to happen next?